busy bees. In order to make the most out of your Walt Disney World vacation, you'll have to get your phones ready. So let's talk about the best apps that will help you look down at your phones less and focus on the moments that count even more. In today's Disney game plan, we're bringing you the top apps you need to make the most out of your vacation to the most magical place on earth. Let's start with the best overall app, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the My Disney Experience app. If you don't download anything else, download this. Need it for photo pass downloads? Yep. Need it for mobile ordering? Yes. Need it for Genie Plus purchases? Definitely. And maybe to locate your car? That's a new feature. Thanks, State Farm. The My Disney Experience app may be the most obvious app in this video, but it is the most important. So just a handful of the things that it can do is you can set up your virtual queue for rides like Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind. You can look at the park hours and information. So even the parades are now listed in the app. You can find a park map of all of the areas at Walt Disney World Resort, and you can get more information about rides if you're uncertain if your little one should ride or if you have any other questions. I love that you can see where the character meet and greets will be throughout the day. And of course, mobile ordering. You can stand in line if you want to order your food at most quick services, but this is a really nifty tool to have. And don't forget, you can check out those grumpy photos and those really happy photos in your photo pass download section. More importantly, the MDE app is where you make your Genie Plus Lightning Lane purchases so you can skip some of the lines. Also, it can be your room key as a resort guest. And there's proof of your park ticket in the app as well. There are so many more features in this app. So if you would like an entire tour of the app, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. When it comes to transportation apps, definitely have your favorite Maps app in hand, but for getting around Disney property, you'll want to use the minivan. No, <laughs> not that minivan, this one. You'll need the Lyft app to use this service. So for a fee, the minivan will drop you directly to your desired Disney destination. Next up, entertainment. So you'll want to have something on your phone to entertain you. And I know what you're thinking, it's Disney World. Uh, isn't there a lot of things there to entertain you already? But you'll want to have these apps during those really long wait times. And you don't want to be caught downloading these on the go. So some of our favorites are the Play Disney app, Disney Plus, of course, and Hidden Mickeys. The Play Disney app is where you can play games connected to the experiences at the parks. You can also play these games at home. And this is where you'll find the Magic Band Plus's quest as well. Disney Plus is a given, but my note here is to remember to download content before going out. Although, yes, there is park Wi-Fi at Walt Disney World. Then there's the Hidden Mickeys app. It's the only app in this video that is paid and for Apple devices. It will help you locate various Hidden Mickeys throughout the parks, like this Hidden Mickey. Um, by the way, any guesses where you can find this one? And here's a hint, it's the smallest Hidden Mickey in all of Walt Disney World. If you're on a budget, I highly encourage you to download an easy to use app that you're already familiar with. My favorite for when I'm splitting costs with a group is Splitwise. It's really, really convenient, easy to use. Now, I recently visited the Epcot Food and Wine Festival on a budget, so make sure you check out that video after you're done with this one. Let's talk about apps for dining. So my go-to dining app is of course the My Disney Experience app because everything is there for you, but there are a few extras I'd like to share with you. So one being the WDW Food and Wine app where you can find all of the festival menus and it'll help you kind of plan your perfect food and wine festival day. And also not an app, but a very useful tool is the website mousedining.com. It will alert you when a hard to get dining reservation is available. You still have to act fast. It really helped us recently with the hard to get Tusker House reservation for my son's birthday. And if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to Mom is in the Mood for more Florida family fun. Now let's move on to those communication apps that we need. And so communication is key, especially when you're traveling with larger groups. So keep it simple and stick to whatever you use normally, like text messaging or whatever you use. 
But something that's tried and true, of course, is WhatsApp because you can use it over Wi-Fi, which I mentioned is free to use at Disney World Resort. For the very unpredictable Florida weather, I do recommend you use a weather app that utilizes Doppler radar with frequent updates. That's really important so that you can stay up to date. I use AccuWeather. By the way, our weather is very unpredictable here, but don't let that deter you from enjoying your Disney day, no matter what, rain or shine. The key to all of these apps is comfort level. The whole goal is to be as present as possible for your family and for yourself when you're at Disney World. So familiarize yourself with these apps before your vacation so that you can hit the ground running as soon as you arrive. And what would you like to see in a future Disney game plan video? I love putting these videos together to help you with your vacations. And consider sharing this video and even subscribe for more Florida family fun. And remember, I care.